Happy Friday, everyone. Josh Hart absolutely sucked last night, but we're on a 22 and 11 run. Let's talk some basketball. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back in to another episode for Just a Bet Outside. I'm your host, Steven, and we are here to end the week with a bang. We're talking NBA basketball on a Friday. I know March Madness is going on. Hopefully, you guys hit some winners today. I haven't checked my final record in the Discord. I know I started 2-0, but I don't know what my last few bets did. So I'll check that out. But anyways, I'm giving out some bets on Discord just for fun. I'm not following it as much as NBA, obviously. But um, this is the last Friday without MLB baseball. <laughs> oh, baby, is that a beautiful thing. Um, real quick, uh, just an announcement. Uh, we do have a second channel. Uh, Ryan is running that and I, I will make some appearances. It is a Twitch channel called Nonsense Gaming Zone. Go check it out. Uh, he just started an NBA 2K season with a couple of buddies and uh, one of those guys is Brad. You've seen him on baseball videos and uh, I will be hopping on Saturday night to play with Ryan. It's going to be a lot of fun um, and uh, if you guys want to come uh, just shoot the breeze, chit chat or if you want to come watch me beat the tar out of Ryan, Feel free to join us and also just help support it. Ryan's working hard on trying to get that uh, channel started up. I'm going to make some appearances. We're just going to have some fun with it. So if you like NBA 2K and you just want to hang out with us, uh, we will be doing that on Saturday. Just go follow the Twitch channel, Nonsense Gaming Zone. We appreciate it. But let's get into it. And we got a Jabbo MVP. That's right. Let's bring it up. All right, there it is. Welcome to the Jabo MVP Club at Karuna Thelak 2782. I don't know if I butchered that name or not, but... We appreciate the support, and uh, thanks for uh, joining on as an MVP. If you want to become a Jabo MVP, it's only $2.99 a month, the same price as about a half a coffee. Um, if you just want to come support the channel, um, you know, if we've given you any help with your entertainment or help you win any money at all, um, it's just a way to give back. Everything else, obviously, we do is free. Discord's free, things like that. So never required, but always appreciated. So thank you to you and everybody else who is a part of that crew. But Let's get into it. We got a funky eight-game slate today in the NBA. Um, if I look extra tired, the wife is out of town. I got two toddlers all day. They had meltdowns all night. It was one of those nights. As a parent out there, you guys probably completely understand. But anyways, my eyes are open. We're good to go. Um, and also, Ryan is going to the Blazers game tonight. So leave a comment below. Let me know your best bet for the Blazers game so we can get a winner. We're going to pick one best bet that we like the best, or the best bet we like the best. And uh, we're going to make that a bet, and we're going to hopefully follow it as a community and try to get a winner, and Ryan's got to have something to root for. So leave a bet in the Blazers and Clippers game. I know it's ugly, but uh, and we'll pick it out, and if it wins, we'll uh, call it out on Monday. So we'll just have some fun with it. But anyways, I got two dad jokes, one from a uh, subscriber and one from me. So here we go. At Kyle Warrell 6493 why should you never iron a four-leaf clover? Because you don't want to press your luck. That's a pretty good one. All right, here we go. I really like this one from myself, but I don't know if anyone else does. Here we go. It's a five-minute walk from my house to the pub and a 35-minute walk from the pub to my house. The difference is staggering. That's pretty good. I was laughing pretty good at that one. All right, in this video, we're going to recap yesterday. It was a one and two night. I know. It's just a slight hiccup on this run that we have. We'll bounce back. And then it's the center position day. So we're going to talk defenses. They give up the most points, rebounds, and assists to the center position. And because it's Friday, we're also going to take a peek inside the lines. That's right. We're going to talk against the spread home and away teams this time. A little bit different. And then we're going to end it with the best bets and the bets recap. So hit that like button. Leave a comment below. Hit that subscribe if you're new to the channel as we are on our way to 22,000 subscribers. You guys have been incredible. It's another great week. It's about to get super busy for us and on this channel with NBA and MLB coming up. But we love sports, so let's just keep on rolling. So that's what we got. Let's get this video started finally, and it starts with the recap. All right, there it is. A minor speed bump on this run. Jalen Suggs, though, over 13 and a half points plus rebounds. I thought we were heading to a great night because holy smokes was he on. Uh, we talked about him being on fire from three-point line and how he was going to get a lot of looks. He took six in the first half. Um, he cashed on the very first play of the second half. So that was an easy winner. And then we get to number two. Here's what I'm mad about myself. Um, I put Josh Hart 10 rebounds. At first, I had Kyle Kuzma 18 or 20 plus points. 
and uh, and I changed it to Josh Hart, and I'm mad at myself because Kuzma just absolutely crushed it, and Josh Hart was just running cardio tonight or last night. He was absolutely atrocious. He he didn't do anything. He just absolutely was just on the court. That's all he was. Jalen Green went uh, scored over 20, so that one hit, but that's a loser. Uh, Knicks minus nine and a half. Man, they were in the game the whole time. They were down by four or five at one point midway through the fourth quarter, and then they just couldn't make any shots, and the Nuggets finished them off. One by 13, I think, maybe 14. Uh, but the Knicks gave up like 66 points in the paint. I just mind-boggling to me for them so either way uh that was a loser for me so uh two two bad reads and one good one so one and two night we'll get through it 177 and 170 on now a 21 and 11 run um up 8.91 units so that's what we got for the recap and now before we get into the best bets let's talk the big men all right there it is the defense is giving up the most points to the center position hopefully you can use these next three slides throughout the weekend not just today but we got two matchups and straight across the board on both of them. The Spurs facing Jaron Jackson Jr. and the Memphis Grizzlies, 21.8 points per game. Uh, Spurs giving up 27.26. And the last one, the Timberwolves, 23.94 points per game facing Jared Allen and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Um, just check injury statuses on both games. Well, the Cavs have the main four out that have been out for a little bit. Uh, Jaron Jackson, I know Desmond Bain is doubtful, so that obviously that changes some things as well. So that's the points given up to the centers and the matchups. Let's go check out the rebounds now, and we have no matchups. I'm sorry to say, but there's the numbers. Raptors just absolutely struggling versus centers in general. Um, and then, but we got Sabonis, Gobert, who is questionable to play, DeAndre Ayton, uh, which uh, Ryan gets to go see play, and then Nurkic, Anthony Davis. No real surprises here. Wet Bananas down there at 11.8 rebounds per game. So those are the rebounds. Let's go check out the assists. And again, no matchups. How brutal is that? Not that assists and centers is that big of a deal, but... Draymond Green leading the way at seven and a half assists per game. Um, and as you can see from number one to number 10 out there on the left side, it's only a difference of 1.33 assists. Not a huge, a huge thing. So anyways, those are the points, the rebounds and assists to the center position. If you were new, we do this every single day. So you can go back and check our videos out. We got point cards on Monday all the way through to centers on Friday. Give you the best matchups and things like that. So that's the center position. Now it's time to take a peek inside the lines. All right, we try to do something like this every couple weeks, and uh, we're going to do home and away this time, just to kind of give you guys some more more knowledge, more information. We've kind of done just overall in general. That doesn't change a lot. but uh, So let's talk the best against the spread teams at home. These are the top 10 teams. ATS plus minus over there on the right. If you have not seen this before, it is the average amount of points the team covers the spread by. So plus 4.5 means they're not only covering the spread, they are covering the spread by an average of four and a half points per game. But the Orlando Magic, I did all these as the games were going on, so they are now 24 and 9. So just take that into account. Um, just absolutely incredible at home. Absolutely unbelievable. Houston Rockets, we know they're a great home team. Uh, Oklahoma City Sonics, 22 and 13, plus 5.1, not too shabby. And the Utah Jazz, who are a terrible team, but still know how to cover at home. So. But anyways, all the way down to the bottom, those are the top 10 teams against the spread at home for you guys that like to bet against the spread. Um, just kind of gives you an idea how they play. But let's move on to the next one now, and those are the against the spread teams on the road. So the Golden State Warriors, the worst road team in the NBA last season, is now the number one road ATS team in the league, 22-10, and 10, covering it by 3.1 points per game. Um, other than that, Dallas Mavericks surprising 21 and 10 ATS on the road. Kings playing good at, uh, on the road, but not as good at home, which is kind of opposite of the year before. Um, and the Magic are just dominating in general. I don't think enough people are talking about this Magic team. Uh, they are playing extremely good basketball, and it all starts with that defense they have. They just put a beat down on number five right there, New Orleans Pelicans. That's not no Pelicans, by the way, just so you know. But anyways, those are the best against the spread teams at home and on the road, just to kind of give you guys some more info. I know we talk a lot of player props, but some of you like to bet spread, so hopefully this can kind of at least guide you in the right direction. So anyways, that's a peek inside the lines, and now it's time for the best bets. All right, this segment of the show is brought to you by our sponsor, Better Bet. That's BTR Bet, the best place to find, track, analyze, and share your bets. There is a link below in the description. Go check it out. Use the promo code in that link, JABOMM. That stands for March Madness. You get one month free. So go check it out. This first best bet takes us out to Toronto, Canada, where the Raptors host the Oklahoma City Thunder. Thunder minus five or 15. I don't mean, that's not even a number. 
15 and a half. Uh, total in this game is 227 and a half. I mean, guys, I'm not going to go over the ATS numbers and all that. We just showed some screen, um, some lines on that. But my best bet in this game, prepare to be uncomfortable because I am doing it. But I like this bet. Give me SGA under 31 and a half points at minus 130 on ESPN bet. Now, I know the line is 30 and a half. Uh, it's 30 and a half across the board. I'm not just making up this number. This is an outline up one point, and you're still getting minus 130. We'll talk about why I like that bet. So, um, like I just said, the 31 and a half. But here's, here's the main reason. I'll just get right into it right now. He has scored exactly 31 points in six of his last 15. That is a high percentage to score exactly a certain amount of points. Uh, for you guys that bet his over games, you see him land at 30 or 31 quite a bit. So, now you're thinking... If he's going to land at 30 or 31, why are you so into this under 31 and a half bet? It's too close. Well, let me tell you. Let's talk about that. Um, I am a firm believer that the Raptors are hot, hot garbage. I mean, they are horrendous. It's not all their fault. I mean, there's just a ton of injuries. The The roster that's going to be out there, I think they're a bottom three team in the NBA easily. I mean, it's not even a question. Here's the players that are out in case you have not been following them. Scotty Barnes, obviously out. Jakob Pertl still out. Emmanuel Quickly still out with a personal issue. RJ Barrett as well with unfortunate what happened to him. Um, they've lost eight in a row. They're a terrible, terrible team. So I know you're thinking, well, this has nothing to do with the bet. Well, it does have a lot because this team on the eight game losing streak, they lost by nine to the Pistons. Let that sink in. Lost by 34 to the Kings last game in the same lineup. They lost by to the Pelicans by 41 points. The point here is that I think the Thunder crush them. Yes, I almost took the Thunder minus 15 and a half, but I just didn't. Instead, it's just a big number. Instead, I just took this one. Um, SGA is going to have a hard time scoring 32 points if he's not even playing the full game because I anticipate this to be an absolute blowout. If the Raptors stick with him the entire game, this goes down to the wire, this is going to be a tighter bet. I'm not going to lie. So if you think that's the case, do not tail this. I mean, if you want to fade it or just not bet at all, that's completely your decision. Again, these are just my opinions. I always recommend if you guys don't agree with one or two things and that makes you not want to bet it, do not bet it. This is your hard-earned money, so I'm just giving you my opinions. But um, here's another reason. So even if it does go down the wire, we still have a chance, in my opinion. The Raptors have given up the third fewest points to the point guard position last three days. They've actually played them well. Uh, ninth fewest points to the point guard position last 15 days. And they also, we've talked about this before, they give up a crap ton of assists. They've given up the most assists to the point guard now for a long time. Every time we give it out, they're at the top. Um, so this is one of those games where SGA, I think, is going to have a lot of lanes to to find some open guys. And they also struggle against centers right now. No Yaka Pirtle, no Scotty Barnes. They cannot defend centers very well. So I find this to be more of a check game, more of an assist type game for SGA. doesn't mean he's not going to get any points at all. Obviously, he's a stud. Um, but I didn't take any chat points because taking an over in a player prop when I think this game's going to be like a 20 to 30 point blowout, it just wasn't, uh, I wasn't a fan of it. So in summary, SGA has gone under 31 and a half in 11 of his last 15. So just let that sink in for a second. Whether whoever he's playing, he has actually gone under 31 and a half in 11 of his last 15 games. The game should be an absolute blowout. The Raptors defend the point guard position surprisingly well. Give me SGA under 31 and a half. I still like it at 30 and a half. You want to take that? Maybe even money, minus 105, something like that. But SGA under is my first best bet of the night. All right, we got to talk about these two great promotions right now with Bet365. If you are in an eligible state, this is the time to jump on it. Click the link below for Bet365 in the description. Um, sign up does not take long, and then you have two promotions to choose from. As you can see right here, first bet safety net up to $1,000. Place your first cash bet up to 1000 If the bet loses, you will have your wager refunded in bonus bets. It is an incredible deal. Um, allows you to take some chances when you first sign up. Or you can just do the bet $5 and get $150 in bonus bets. Um, it's also another good deal. No matter what happens with that first bet, you get $150 in bonus bets. So take advantage of these offers while you have them. So if you are in an eligible state, go sign up for Bet365 using that link below and of course you must be 21 years or older to gamble if you have a gambling problem call or text 1-800-GAMBLER all right back to the bets all right before i get into this second best bet i did not mention it earlier but yes we will have a friday parlay it will be in the pinned comments below i'm going to give a couple leans that i'm looking at right now i may or may not use them but i'll give that out after the second best bet Again, we've won two in a row doing it that way. I want to make sure I get all my options and give out a, a better parlay in the morning. So 
But this bet, we got the Pacers at the Golden State Warriors. Warriors minus five. Total in this game is 237 and a half. I'm going to jump right into the bet on this one. It is a same game parlay that I absolutely love. Tyrese Halliburton, 10 plus assists, and Clay Thompson under four and a half rebounds at minus 118 on ESPN bet. Now you're seeing me use ESPN bet because some of these alt lines, um, especially under alt lines, are not available in a lot of sports books uh, the night before. So let's talk Halliburton, 10 plus assists right now. He's picked it up again. He was in a little assist slump for a while. Anything is slump really for him. Um, but in his last eight games, he's now averaging 16.3 potential assists, which is the third most in the NBA, averaging 10.4 actual assists. So we just need an average day from him to hit 10. Um, this line is 10 and a half right now, but I saw it juiced to like minus 140. Some books already have it at 11 and a half. So I'm really taking it down too, because I think it'll be 11 and a half uh, across the books. So he's facing the Warriors. Last game versus the Warriors, he had 11 assists. In only 25 minutes, the Warriors giving up a lot of assists lately at 9.3 per game to the point guard position. Um, and obviously Halliburton is not just your average point guard when it comes to that. So um, this total is crazy high, 237 and a half fast paced by both teams. That's the reason for the total. Uh, more possessions, more points means more assist opportunities. Uh, give me Halliburton 10 plus assists as my first leg of the parlay in this second one. I mean, guys, Clay Thompson under four and a half rebounds. Let's run it back. We just bet on him a couple days ago. Um, he was a part of a player prop parlay with this exact same bet under four and a half rebounds, and he still did not get any rebounds. That's right. He had as many as I did last game. He had the goose egg, big zero. He is averaging, this is insane, guys. He's averaging four rebound chances per game in the last eight games. Four. So if he averages, just hits his average of four potential or rebound chances per game, he has to get 100% of those rebounds just to get four, which is still under four and a half rebounds. So um, I absolutely love it. If you just want to go under three and a half on its own as its own bet, I do like that as well. So um, he has gone under four and a half now in nine straight games. In the two games before the nine straight where he went over, there was reasons for it, guys. He had one game with no Wiggins and no B-Pods. That's huge. Those guys both rebound the ball well. And uh, in the other game he went over, there's no Andrew Wiggins. So both guys will be playing. And now I have a crazy stat for you. In the last 25 games that he has played with Andrew Wiggins this season, he has gone under four and a half rebounds in 22 of those 25. Now, obviously that means four and a half because it's an alt line. It's only one up. Um, but he's just not getting a lot of rebounds, not getting a lot of chances. He just shoots some threes and does not do much else. So Pacers about average giving up uh, rebounds to the shooting guard position. Um, this to me is a great parlay piece for whatever you want to use. Um, uh, I think it was, I don't know, minus 200 minus two, something right around there for a good parlay piece, but give me Clay Thompson under four and a half rebounds and Tyrese Halliburton, 10 plus assists as my second best bet. And now let's talk a couple leans for the Friday parlay, a couple ideas. This slate is tough guys. I may use one of these. I may not. By the time the morning comes, everything shakes out. Not all the props are out. We have teams like the Thunder favored by a million, the Celtics favored by a million with five questionable guys. Um, it, it gets a little ugly. Clippers and the Blazers is not something that interests me. But again, leave your best bet below for Ryan because he will be at the game. Um, but let's just talk about two quick leans. Steph Curry under four and a half assists. I got enough bets in this Golden State Pacers game, but Chris Paul is back and the Pacers are the top two team allowing the fewest assists to the point guard position. We've talked about it before. I see this as a possible great scoring game. He lit up the Pacers last time, but not a great assist game. So I lean under four and a half assists. Have not played it yet or anything. But And then Trey Jones, six plus assists as a parlay piece for the San Antonio Spurs. You, his line is seven and a half. You can go over a seven and a half if you want as your own bet. He's facing the Grizz, who are a bottom 10 team, meaning bottom 10 giving up the most assists to the point guard position. He has six plus assists in six of his last seven games. He is averaging a huge 14.3 potential assists in his last seven games. That is 12th in the league. Um, so like I said, over seven and a half is an option. But if I'm just talking a Friday parlay piece, if I used him, I'd probably go six plus seven and a half. I, I think he can get to eight, eight or nine in this game. I really do. But I think six plus is a great parlay piece. Um, so that and Steph Curry are two leans. And the third one would maybe be a teaser. Um, with the Celtics, if I knew who was actually playing, or maybe the Thunder, um, you know, because I think they're going to kill him. Maybe the 76ers take that up from plus eight and a half. Just all these different options. I don't really have anything set in stone for the teaser, but just wanted to give those ideas out as well. Um, so anyways, those are some Friday parlay ideas. I will add the Friday parlay in the pinned comments below. 
And uh, if I have another added bet, which I may also, that will be in the pinned comments below as well as on X and on Discord. All right, that's the show. Let's get some winners. But first, before we end it, let's talk the bets recap. All right, there it is. SGA under 31 and a half points at minus 130 on ESPN bet. And then Tyrese Halliburton, 10 plus assists. Clay Thompson under four and a half rebounds. That's at minus 118 together on ESPN bet as well. The Friday parlay will be coming. Can we make it three wins in a row on that one? And then any other added plays will also be down there in the pinned comments. So uh, thank you guys for the support. Another great week. Um, it was a lot of fun talking basketball. Again, this is the last full week of only NBA. This is going to get wild, um, but I can't wait for some baseball. So anyways, I hope everyone enjoys some March Madness, enjoys their weekend, some NBA, whatever it is you guys are doing. I hope you guys have a great one, and we'll talk to you soon.